On the congested city streets of Hoboken, the smart commuter knows that two-wheeled transportation is the way to get around, hence the emergence of bike share programs. Jersey City launched its program earlier this month, and today neighboring Hoboken unveiled its own bike share program, better say operators than the city bike system next door. I'm a huge city bike customer. Uh, I rode, I've reached my 200th uh, trip in the last two months, um, and also, and, and, but it's great, but this is better. Better with 29 stations and 250 bikes in a mile square city. Hoboken's program, Hudson Bike Share, won't require you to go to a docking station to get a bike like City Bike does. Officials say all the technology to keep track of the bikes and promote interactivity is contained in the bike, as opposed to the docking station, making it easier to pick up and drop off bikes. In a city notorious for its two-hour parking limits and busy downtown, the mayor says a bike sharing program is long overdue. This is going to give Hoboken residents and visitors a very convenient way to get from anywhere in our city to everywhere that they want to go. It will be great for commuting, for running errands, for recreation purposes. Meaning less cars on the road. A good thing, says hot dog vendor Julio Ortiz, who has to fight for a spot before he sets up shop every morning. Yeah, that's beautiful. No parking over here. You know, the people leave the car and they come with the bike. That's beautiful for the town. A lot of people bike over here all, all the time. You see? You see now? Yeah, that's good for the town. And good for, for you body, it's a side for you body. We have a densely populated urban city. We're a walkable city where we need cars, we need buses, we need trucks. And so this is an alternative. And I, you know, we see them around town and now it's a more cohesive program. And so, you know, we're really happy and, and hopefully that this, uh, this will alleviate some of the traffic that we see around town. The city says it costs them nothing to get it started and they could see 10% of the profits although bike sharing programs around the country have struggled to actually make money. Zimmer says the plan is to build a regional system with stations in nearby towns, including Jersey City, once this program gets its wheels turning. In Hoboken, I'm David Cruz, NJTV News.